Hey guys, um, I've got this new thing where I'm kind of just for the first time re-noticing my tattoos. I'm looking at old transformation photos of myself because I'm getting ready to jump back into a big weight loss um, journey and all my old transformation pictures don't have my tattoos in them. So it's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, um, I was just going through my messages and talking to this woman, Amber. Hey, Amber. Uh, we actually met because she gave me a bunch of starters to her plants. She posted on Facebook if anybody wanted plants, and she's part of the reason why my Majestic Jungle is here. I actually should probably ask her to come over and help me because I'm killing half my plants, and I'm sure she could help me keep them alive. Um, but we were talking about just uh, lack of motivation and struggling to feel motivated or struggling to stay committed to something and not get bored and... Um, Specifically, we're talking about just like both of our weight loss goals this next year and how hard it can be to like get into fitness, but then to find something that keeps you like keeps you entertained and keeps you engaged without getting bored and bailing out or giving in to the wanting to sleep in or um, like having pizza win because it's easier. Like all of these things that right now I'm really vividly remembering like how challenging all of this is I've been um, postpartum for the last four months postpartum. All I've been focusing on is like figuring out how the hell to be a mom. And so that stuff has all gone on the back burner. Um, and it's the end of December. It's the 28th right now. I'm going back to work. Uh, my son's going to be in childcare with family for three days a week. So... Um, like, I'm really carving out and making more time for myself and making more time to take care of myself. And personal development is um, how I, like, stay committed and how I do those things. And so um, since we were talking about that, she asked the question. I asked if she'd ever done any personal development. She said, no, like, what do you mean by that? And sometimes you get so far into your habits. This has been a habit for me for a really long time. Sometimes you get so far into your habits you forget what it was like before you did it. Um, and, it being, and it becomes such like an integrated thing. And that's what personal development is for me. Uh, a lot of aspects of being the vital behaviors of being a coach are things that I definitely put to the wayside over the last two years. Um, I 2015 was my year of the trophy wife. And then this last year was just all about being pregnant and my health and um moving home to where I like need to go back to work. And so it's pretty exciting that this feels like feels even more integrated now because I'm going to have more time and I'm just acting so much more consciously as a mother. Um, the way I learned how to do all of that stuff, I'm like over here spewing all this like positive motivational bullshit. Guys, if you had asked me three years ago about doing personal development, I was like, meh, like self-help books. Yeah, like, I'm not screwed up. Why would I need to read to self-help books? And that's for sad people. Like, it's a parody that happens on movies that they go through a divorce and they're like, oh, in the store buying all these books on divorce. Well, it's out there in a joke because it works. And personal development is not about being broken or fucked up or whatever, which at the time I was. Um, it can help crawl you out of holes you wouldn't believe but it's more so about just growth and constantly becoming better and constantly growing and constantly challenging yourself and pushing yourself and that's what will keep you from getting bored you get bored because you get like in a space and then like you take a step up and then we always tell ourselves that that's just good enough I'm currently working through this guilt of feeling like I want more and being really honest with myself with what I want for my life that I want a nanny who's here to take care of my kids that I want a separate office for myself in my backyard when we buy a house that I want. Um, I'm going to have a therapy pool. Ultimately, I'm going to have a therapy swimming pool in my house. I know someone who has one in their house, and like it takes so much time and energy. If I could swim every day, that would be, like, makes my body feel so good and so happy and is so good for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. And saying those things out loud makes me feel like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I want it. So we take a step up, and then we get really complacent. And that's why you get bored. You get, and then excuses take over and the I'm not good enough and I don't deserve this and I'm not worthy and all this other bullshit that it doesn't even present itself that way. It presents itself in these like really sneaky ways wins. So the way that you combat that is with personal development. Any, any successful person you know 
like any name you can think of, they all do personal development. So I got off my little high horse and was like, okay, I'll read some self-help books. Um, funny thing is I had already been reading self-help books. I just didn't know it yet. So I'm going to get into like some really traditional self-help books, but there are other books out there that are just like memoirs or a lot of personal development. So Eat, Pray, Love. I read that after calling off my wedding. Boom. Totally changed my life. Like I went on this epic quest because of that book. Um... Eat, Pray, Love, I used to read when I was younger. I used to read a lot of those diary books, and those were totally personal development books for me at the time. Um, yeah, Love Warrior is another huge one that's an incredible personal development book. And Come Clean. Come Clean is a memoir that's pretty quiet, but it's about uh, this girl who grows up in a house, and her parents are hoarders, and it's incredible. So... More traditional, like, personal development is things like um, this book. This is currently what I'm doing for personal development. The Universe Has Your Back by Gabrielle Bernstein, who's one of my mentors, and I'm obsessed with her. Look her up if you don't know any of this. Her first book of hers that I read was called Spirit Junkie, and that totally changed my life. That's some, like, spiritual personal development. Um, the first personal development I book I ever read, aside from He's Just Not That Into You and... Think like a man, act like a lady. That changed my life. Um, but the first one I read after that was The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. He's the uh, founder of Success Magazine. He's just a badass, and he's got, like, this, like, returned missionary kind of look, and I'm super into him. Um, but this book, Compound Effect, is about just explaining, like, how you grow and how you do things and how, um, like, you actually do something like make a million dollars and have a therapy pool in your house and breaks it down in steps. And if you want to jump in and start doing personal development with me and place where we can talk about it and be in a space of growth, um, I have that book for free in my free village. It's an online community called The Light Tribe for a bunch of light warriors and people just looking to love themselves more and make the world a better place and talk about weird hippie shit and it not be weird. And... If you don't even know any about that, any of that stuff, but you're really interested in learning, that's a perfect space for you. And I will give you your first free personal development book called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Uh, other books that are my favorite, um, You Are a Badass is a really, really amazing one. That's what I have my coaches read when they first start. Um, and then there's also podcasts on your phone. So you can just search the app podcasts for iPhone, and I think it's Podcast Attic for uh, Android. And um, I will put on my new blog, there will be a post of just my favorite blog podcasts I listen to all the time. And instead of listening to music in the car, um, I listen to podcasts. And I use it as space to, like, grow and be better. And it adds up to that my minimum is 10 minutes a day or 10 pages a day. The way I read 10 pages in a physical book is I'm going to go put this in the bathroom where I get time for myself and time to just sit and enjoy. Um, but listening to 10 minutes a day, like, it's really easy to get over that. Anytime I'm doing dishes or folding laundry or anything like that, like, instead of watching TV, I'm educating myself. I'm going to school. So that is what personal development is. That it's, it's like educating yourself on bettering yourself is what personal development is. And it's, I always say, like, this is the thing that changed my life the most. So there's just an even foundational ground of the things that changed my life the most and personal development is really the foundation of all of it so um join our group the light tribe i will put the link down in the comments below uh, it is the end of december if you have weight loss goals for next january on january 9th i am starting a 30-day vision accountability group I, d I need to name it something cool that's what i'm working on today while the baby is sleeping um the last day to sign up for that is January 4th in order to get your Shakeology and all your tools and your workouts and everything in time. There's an amazing, um, amazing, amazing situation right now where for $200 you can get, like, everything Beachbody has to offer, basically. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go upload this video and go sit in my bed. Today's the last Wednesday of working in my bed with my baby at 1230 because he'll be staying with my mom on Wednesdays, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a magical day. Also, I'm wearing sweatpants and slippers. Coach life. Bye, guys.